Hi, I'm Jason Barnard. I'm going to tell you three things you can do to get your pages indexed lightning fast on Google. What do I mean by indexed? Being indexed simply means that Google has visited your page and stored the content ready to put it in the results page in front of its users. But it doesn't know when you add a page or update one. So when you add or update a page, it's up to you to tell Google and make sure it takes a look and uses the very latest up-to-date version. There are three possible scenarios. Great, not perfect, and disaster. Great. Google has the latest version of your page, uses that to decide where to rank you. It ranks you top and shows you front and center to boatloads of users and sends tons of people to your site. Not perfect. Google hasn't seen the latest version of your page. It's relying on the old, less good version to judge your page, so that page ranks lower. Fewer people see your content in Google, and so less people visit your site from Google. Disastrous. Google doesn't even know your page exists, so it can't include it in the results at all. Google never shows your amazing content to its users, and nobody visits your page from Google's results. That's a disaster. To illustrate, here's some examples of how fast Google finds new content on some major sites. This is a study by Wanli. The guy is called Bartosz, I won't try and say his surname, and it's from 2019, so it's very recent. We can see four sites, The Guardian, Target, Reuters, and Eventbrite. I'll start with Target. As you can see, Google found only 5% of the pages they published on the first day. It found 75% by day seven. That's a full week where they're not fully indexed, where these pages are not attracting traffic. After a week, it seems okay, but three out of 10 pages still get no visits, even into week two. That's a phenomenal lost opportunity. Eventbrite's even worse. Almost 50% were still not found by Google after two weeks. That's half of their content, which hasn't been found by Google and cannot be shown by Google to its users. That's a phenomenal waste. Here, Reuters, they give up. For 15% of Reuters pages, Google seems to have stopped looking after day two and will probably never find them. All of those sites are losing traffic. Sometimes slow can be deadly too. For time-sensitive content, you can't wait a week. After a week, news is dead, and that page becomes a complete waste of your time. So look at The Guardian, you want to be like them. Get most of your content discovered that first day, and all of it by the end of the first week. Or you could even do better and get every single page discovered on the day it was created or updated. So, you want to make sure that Google knows your page exists and that it's up to date with the latest and greatest version as fast as possible every time you update it. And it's up to you, and it's really easy. And I'm gonna show you three things you can do. The last one is the most important and the most effective, and I'll demonstrate how it works. Tip one, add a link to the page you created or updated in a page that already appears a lot in Google. Which one though? The home page is a great candidate. Google has a look at that first every time it visits your site. But adding too many links to your home page isn't a great idea, either for Google or for your users. And you can't link to every single page on your site from the home page. So have a look in Search Console. Order the pages by impressions, descending, and add a link to a page that Google already likes. Make sure it talks about something related to the page you want to index because you need to make sure that pages that link to each other are related and talk about similar topics. Tip number two, add an XML sitemap. It sounds complicated, but it really isn't. Google has a look at the sitemap before looking at the site itself to see what it should be looking at first. It acts as a kind of signpost to Google to point it in the right direction. It contains what's called a last modified date. So Google looks at that, it sees when the page was last modified, and it will immediately go and see the ones that were modified most recently or since it last visited them. If you use a CMS, you'll want to install an extension or a plugin. In WordPress, I use Yoast. It's really good for the sitemap and it's also great for SEO. In other CMSs, find an extension or a plugin that has the last modified date for the reasons I just explained. If you don't use a CMS, you can always create your own by hand. 
but it needs to update every time you update your content. Once you've created an XML sitemap, you add it to Search Console. Here's a little diagram to show you how to do that. A nice thing about Search Console is it shows you last time Google looked at your sitemap. If you haven't registered your site with Search Console, do it now. It's free and it's very important and it's essential to this last tip that's the most effective and the most powerful. Simply tell Google about the change and ask it to come and have a look. Here's a real-time demo. Here I am on my site and I'm going to create a new page. There we go. And I'm prepared that title earlier on. Jason Barnard indexing pages on Google rather fast using Search Console. Before I create it, I'll just quickly check that it's not in Google already. There we go, no results found for, so on and so forth. So now I publish it. New page, never seen before, Google doesn't know it exists, didn't exist before, now it exists, it's a pretty boring page. But we can go to Search Console and if I copy paste the URL in there, Google goes and has a look to see if it's already got it in the index and it doesn't. We knew that, but here we have the confirmation and I have this button, Request Indexing. I click on that and I'm asking Google to go and have a look at the page to see if it wants to index it. Now the testing to see if the live URL can be indexed means that it needs to go to the URL, pick it up, get the page, then go back and see if it can put it in its index or not. And as it says on the screen, this might take a minute or two. It actually takes a little bit less than a minute, but in this context of trying to do this in real time, that minute does seem just a little long. But if you're a little bit patient, we'll see that Google will finish this testing and it will figure out that it can index the URL and then it will submit it to the index. So if we remain a tiny bit patient, there we go. We're submitting the request and we've, index, we've requested, sorry, the indexing of the page. I've understood that, so now I can go back and I can see if this page is now in Google's index. And for the moment it isn't, but if we wait, let's see if we take off the Slowly, slowly, slowly. My connection obviously isn't as good as it should be. And it's found my podcast, but not that page. There, we've got it. And we can see here, if I visit the page, that that URL is exactly the same as that one. And that was in real time. So that's how you can get a new page indexed incredibly fast or an updated page re-indexed incredibly fast and make sure that Google has got your latest pages and the latest version of your pages for its index. There you go. So now you know why it's so important to get your new and updated pages indexed by Google quickly and how to do it. Don't wait for Google to find your page by chance. It may take weeks or never happen. In either case, you're wasting time and you're losing traffic. So make sure all pages have a link from a relevant page on your site that's already shown in Google results, add a sitemap to your site, and submit pages to Search Console when you update them. And a little secret. If you have a small site, you can ignore the first two and just submit through Search Console but logical internal linking is good for ranking. And an XML sitemap means that you have a safety net. Even if you forget to submit manually, Google will find the new or updated page and it'll just be a little bit slower, but you can forget you don't need to submit it systematically. Please do remember to like, to share, and to comment on the video. Thank you very much. See you next time.